This is the world's first uh, robotic installation of uh, twin spacers, uh, specifically PLP twin spacers. Um, so we're pretty, pretty stoked about it. It seems to be going really, really well. Uh, we're nearing the completion of the project and so far things have been going great. We are currently about three hours west of Kansas City at the High Banks site, which is a, a project that has been constructed by Kiewit Construction. High Banks is 75 mile, 345 kV project going from Belleville, Kansas all the way to Frankfurt. This is the first project that we've introduced, our CSR-18, which is our robot for installing the dual-line spacers, um, as well as our first project for installing the PLP spiral version bird diverters. The project itself has gone incredibly well. It's been a great combination of ourselves working with a contractor like Kiwit. So today we're installing spacers for PLP for biconductor bundles. Um, and. We just put the robot up on the line and the contractor runs it down, installs the spacers. The best thing about the robot, in my opinion, is that it allows for the installation to be consistent as, as if they were doing it in the traditional methods. So the robot torques the, the same way as they would if a human was doing it. Um, it, it does the same thing and it, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two. The main advantage that I look at with robot as opposed to spacer buggies, typical spacer installation, is uh, eliminating safety risks uh, for our people. I know here at Kiwit, our number one goal to eliminate those risks is engineering the risk out. I mean, with any mechanical operating system, there's potential for failure, and I would much rather have a robot fail and potentially fall to the ground than anybody on the wire. I'm really excited about this technology. I think it's got potential to grow, and obviously, the intent is not to take away work from human performance, it's to aid and make it better for everybody. Uh, I think it's going to be a huge step in getting towards a safer work environment for people in this field. This is a tool, just like the bucket truck is a tool, just like a hammer on a job site is a tool. This is just a tool for folks to use that allows them to achieve what they need to from the highest level of safety as well as from a cost perspective. Oh, I think. This saving the time and the manpower, I think you'll see a lot of a lot of this going. Like you said, these spacers, I think you'll see this all over. I think the buggies will probably be a thing of the past. It's been a great opportunity for us at Fulcrum to really uh, work with a contractor like a Kiwit, where we can um, leverage each other's experience and knowledge as it pertains to the transmission lines. These Fulcrum guys have been really good to deal with. They, they helped us out, and of course we like the POP stuff too, but used a lot of it. But no, it's just, it's been a learning process, pretty interesting. It's probably no surprise to anybody, there's a huge piece of what we're doing from a safety standpoint. And as utilities and line contractors continue to look within their four walls of how they can improve from a safety perspective and bring the highest level of safety to a job site, to a project, that's where Fulcrum wants to be, right there next to them, side by side, marching down that path to find those best solutions for, for not only achieving safety, but gaining productivity and allowing them to be successful with these projects. Thanks.